Hey folks, John Bernakovich here with All Points Design. That's allpointsdesign.ca. And today we're taking a look at the Oregon State University Permaculture Template. Now, when you're working with base maps, it can be useful to have a grayscale image underneath the overlay. That might be your existing aerial image, as I'll show you today, or maybe the entire base map. You want to pull out what are the new elements. And that'll be really useful when we get into the new design elements like the plant layout and the zone one design and the final design later on in the course. But for right now, we just want to know how to take an image and turn it grayscale. So what I've done is I've taken my base map here with my aerial image and I've made sure that I've got a copy of it here on the left hand side. So this is a brand new slide. And all I have to do is click on that image and right click format options or click on that image and go up here and click format options. On the right hand side, we're going to see a number of different options. We're going to be clicking the third down, which is recolor. And then we're going to have a number of options if we click down there. There's a couple of different grayscale options or black and white options, but the one that I like the best is the top left hand, which is light one. You'll see that there's a few others that are a bit darker. That's dark two. Uh, there's a grayscale option. Uh, but I found that light one gives me the most amount of contrast and, and still gives a lot of uh, detail. So once I've done that, I'm going to go over into my edit master and I'm going to make sure that I have a brand new slide ready for me. And I already went and did this, so I'm just going to delete that. So I do have one ready, but I'm going to go back into my map and I'm going to click on the icon I want or the image I want. And I'm going to make sure it's positioned exactly where I want, because this will show up every time I use this layout. So I'm going to command copy or right click copy. Then we're going to go back to slide, edit master, back to that slide we just had, and then command V. Now we've got this uh, aerial grayscale here. We're going to rename, which I had already done, Bernakovich aerial grayscale, and press OK. And then we're going to pop out of this. And now let's say, and we'll use this as an example, I, I already have my base map elements already done. And say I want to bring in my grayscale background behind this, I can go to layout, Bernakovich aerial grayscale, change that behind, and now all of a sudden I've got this grayscale necessary uh, underneath. There you go, folks. Easy way to bring in those grayscale elements, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.